Hello to you. I'm Jesse Johnson. This is how to in fact play the California Fantasy V with the highest probability to win. The California Fantasy V started February 4th, 1992. That's about 27 years, 7 months, with win numbers being pulled every single day. That's about 9,800 past winning numbers to date. Get a list of all past winning numbers for California Fantasy V. You'll need it. You can go to Lottery Corner. That's L-O-T-T-E-R-Y Corner. C-O-R-N-E-R. LotteryCorner.com for all past winning numbers up to today from February 2nd, 1992. Your chances of solving or figuring out Fantasy V is 575,757 divided by 9,800, which equals about 58, 58 to 1. For Powerball, it's about 580,000 to 1. Simply divide the odds of winning by the number of past winning numbers to date. Fantasy V must be figured out in a specific way. The first thing is to find is the lowest possible odds to one, which utterly must be much, much lower than five, 575,757 to one. We'll start with step one. The way in which 575,757 to one is gotten is by dividing 39 factorial by five factorial or 39 things taken five at a time as combinations. Five factorial is the number of arrangements which is five times four times three times two times one which equals 120. Out of this 120 only one arrangement in the end is used. Arranging the set of five winning numbers from smallest to largest. The smallest set Fantasy V win number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The largest is 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. When a set of five win numbers are added horizontally, it gives a sum, such as adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, which equals 15 the smallest possible sum number in Fantasy V, or adding 35 plus 36 plus 37 plus 38 plus 39, which equals 185, the largest possible sum number in Fantasy V. The sum numbers range is 15 to 185. Get a list of California Fantasy V past winning numbers and put them into a spreadsheet. Go to LotteryCorner.com for winning number, all past winning numbers starting February 4th, 90, 1992 to today. Now, learn how to use a spreadsheet if you don't, such as Excel or another type of spreadsheet. Simply go to YouTube to learn or ask and talk to friends. Add all sets of win numbers to get their sums. The sums that come in the most are the 90s or 91, 92, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. This is a 10 number set. For every 10,000 past winning numbers pulled, there are about 1,500 90s sum numbers in it. Let's go to step two. Using the already existing list of all past winning numbers from February 4th, 1992 to today, write down all win numbers for each individual 90. Each 90. Start, starting with 90, 91, 92, all the way to 99. Each 90 sum number have about 150 to 200 win numbers to it. it all of them have their own win numbers, such as this. Hold on. When you do it, it looks like this. 90 sum number, 91, 92, 93, 94. 95, 90, 96, 97, 98, 99. 
Now, if you look closely, there are five positions. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, or A, B, C, D, E. Five positions, and up under it is all the win numbers. All of night, night, sum number 90 is win numbers, all of them written down. On this page, it stops at 60, 6, 6, 0, 60. And all of the win numbers, all of their win numbers, are written for each one of these. Now, Now, each one of these is the sum number written in red from 90 to 90, 90 to 99. And below it are all of, the, all of the win numbers belonging to each sum number. And the page shows 60 win numbers for each 90th sum. Now, the California Fantasy Five have five win numbers per set. Therefore, it has five positions. A, B, C, D, and E, which makes five columns of numbers. First, count and find out how many times each individual win number comes in. Start with sum number 90, position A. Start with win number 1. The, and after finishing win number 1, go to win number 2. Then win number 3, etc until you reach where none of the other win numbers of position A column of sum number 90 never happens or simply zero times of ever coming in. Now hold on for a second please. Hold on for just a second please. Now to continue. Now, do position, once you finish with position A column of sum number 90, now do position B column of sum number 90 the identical way. Then do position C, D, and E columns of sum number 90. When once you finish sum number 90, then do sum number 91 the identical way until finishing with sum number 99. The smallest win number that can be in position A, well first off, once you finished the win number count for 90 to 99, simply connect the dots. Simply connect the dots because each 90 sum number is different and it should look like this. Then it becomes necessary to skew them. Once you understand this, to skew is quite simple. That's simply to connect the dots. This is sum number 90, right here, sum number 90. And win number one came in 18 times. Win number two came in 14 times. Win number three of, 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 of position A, B, C, D, E, came win number three win number number three came in 15 times and you write how many times each win one win number came in as you can see all the way down all the way down for B all the way down for C D and E how many times it came in now put a dot as you can see it's being done right here put a dot next to the the number in which you are going to choose which came in the least. In, in this particular case, you want anything that came in at least two times, two times, not one, but two times, came in at least two times, and then connect the dots with straight lines. Once you finish this, you will, it will be skewed. Once you skew them, it will look just like this. Once you skew them, once you skew them, it will look just like this. And each one is different. Each sum number is different. 91 is different from 90, 90 from 90. And 92 is different from 91 all the way to 99. All the way to 99, do each one. All the way to 99. All positions, count them. Now, 
That's what it should look like when you finish. And remember, do all of them the identical way. The smallest wind number that can be in position A is 1. The largest, 35. For position B, it's 2. Smallest, 36. Largest. For position C, it's 3. Smallest, 37. Largest. For position D, it's 4. Smallest, 38. Largest. For position E, it's 5. Smallest, 39. Largest. And you will be surprised. There are 575,757 possible combinations in California 5. It takes about 28 years for 10,000 win numbers, pass win numbers to be played and pulled. That's 575,000. Thousand divided by 10,000, which equals 57. There are about 1,590 some numbers per per 10,000 pass win numbers. So, 1,500 times 57 is about 85,550 winning combinations for the 90-sum numbers in total, or 85,550 to 1 odds. Well below 575,757 to 1. Meaning, approximately 490,000 combinations utterly as never to be used and never to be played. Or, 85% of all combinations are zeroed out. And only about 15% of all com combinations is ever to be played. Since there are 10, 90 some numbers per set. 90, 91, 92, all the way to 99. This becomes 85,000 divided by 10 to 1 which equals an average of 8.5 thousand to 1 for each 90's sum number, which is well below 575 thousand to 1. Let's go to step 3. Once you grasp this, get a list of all 575 thousand 757 combinations. What you're going to do with this is filter them on a spreadsheet to find the exact amount of win combinations per each 90 sum. Once you get exact number of combinations as a total for all 90 sums together, then use your skewed sheets to filter and remove all combinations that is most likely to never come in including all combinations or all past win numbers from February 4th, 1992 all the way up to today that's already come in, remove them. This is a video about your first and main task. Your second task is to find out on what day or days a specific 90 sum or several sums will show up. You have a 98% to 99% probability of having the winning number from each, each, each 90 sum number at 8.5 thousand to 1 average per sum number and even less than 8.5 thousand to 1 when unneeded combinations are removed which is even better. Otherwise you have a 575,757 to 1 chance instead of a 8.5 thousand to 1 chance per 90's sum number equaling 98 percent of having the winning number. There are two options to playing. Number one, find the most probable 90's sum number or several sum numbers that will happen on a specific, specific day or over several days and play all 8.5 thousand combinations of each sum number chosen. Number two, play several hundreds of combinations using about 100 different methods to find the most probable winning combination out of the specific 90 sum numbers that's to be played. With this, you have a 98% to 98.8% chance of having the winning combination per 8.5 thousand to 1 compared to 85 compared to 575,000 to 1. 
without this 98% chance of having the winning number, you have only a 0.000005% chance of having the win number. Now, since the second set of 10,000 win numbers is about to start in a few months or about February 2021, it won't be that different from the first set of 10,000 already drawn past win numbers of February 4th of 92 to today. Now, I want to thank everyone for listening and watching. Share this video and have a very fine day. Watch the video two to three times to comprehend every single point on it. If you are serious, you must work for this money. It's not free. And I want to thank everyone for listening and watching once again. And have a very good day.